Hey guys, make sure you stay to the end because we're going to open a package from a fan. But before we get to that, we've got some delicious, delicious local frozen pizza to feast on. Also, merch shout out today to, I'm going to butcher this, Nathaline Swathahami. Doesn't matter. You know why? They're a legend because they bought a hamburger t-shirt. I think that's gone now. <laughs> and then a five pack of stickers for number 6 cheesecom Thank you so much for being a fan. Cue the B-roll. You ever had it come out and be a little foamy? Today we're drinking Miskatonic's Vox Pilsner. We've had this a couple weeks ago. 4.9% alcohol by volume, Darien, Illinois. Uh, Miskatonic makes great beers, so thank you to you, Miskatonic, for existing. You make the world a better place. You really do. And uh, as for the food, this is a Chicago legend, Vito and Nick's. The best tavern style in Chicago if you're getting it from the actual location. It's unfreaking believable. Today we got one of their frozen pizzas and it's uh, the pepperoni kind. We've tried the sausage and pepperoni. Yeah. We've tried just the sausage, uh, and so now we're gonna give just the pepperoni a try. Also, oddly enough, they give instructions for the grill yeah. on the back too, so you can grill this bad boy if that's your thing. What I'm now realizing, I think Vito and Nick's is like, you know how people always have their favorite deep dish and it really does vary? Yeah. I think everybody agrees Everybody. And Vito and Nick's is the best tavern style. I very, very rarely ever hear someone be like, no, nah, dude, yep. you gotta go to Pat's. Like, I feel like it's always yep. Vito and Nick's. I just for the first time heard someone say something non Vito and Nick's, and you know what it was? What? Our boy Professor Pizza. I've, okay. heard, I've heard a couple people say it's their favorite, which is. That I can believe. Yeah. Um, which would be a fantastic review for us to do. Oh, oh yeah. Do this is one of the most visually appealing frozen pizzas that I've seen. Yeah, no kidding. You see all the herbs on here, the cheese looks like it's like nice and fired up. Yeah, this is gonna sound weird. There's something about it not being a perfect circle yeah. that makes me think it's just a little more like actually a pubby pizza. Yeah. I don't know why, it just gives me joy. Yeah. And I don't know, but I'm really excited for it to be honest. Sorry we see didn't the herbs. Give them the respect to cut it into squares. Let's cheers on that. Cheers. cheers. Bro. Mm-hmm. Good. This was on sale at Mariano's. It's crazy. $6.99. That's a good deal. You know how many pizzas we've gotten that are okay, that are pushing nine, ten bucks? Seven bucks for this. Like, if I had a big meat freezer and I didn't live in a tiny apartment, I'd buy like six of these. That's a great deal. That's a great deal. This is one of my favorite frozen pizzas, I think. So what about the breakdown? You, you like the sauce? Love the sauce. Cheese is good. Super crispy all around. You get kind of some caramelization on the ends. Mm -hmm. And then they do the herb move. Mm -hmm. So many places skip out on the herb thing. And I think Love it's such herb. an easy, quick, cheap move to like give your pizza an upper echelon feel. Mm. Wow. I was bitten at caramelization. Cause I wanted to check, I was like, all right, is that crust or is there actually cheese on the edges? It's cheese and it's really good. This is really good. Mm. Did you get that caramelization on that bite? Yeah. That's really good. We've heard this is actually like not fully affiliated with the restaurant. It's kind of like this is like a different thing entirely, but it is using the same concept and the same ingredients really. And I just think it's like so much better than so many frozen pizzas. Like this is better than Home Run Into Me. This is better than Palermo's, like standard pizzas. It's better than Connie's. Connie's. Like I really do think this is one of the better ones. Yeah. It a lot of it to me is those, herb man, and those herbs, it's so easy. I know it's gonna hit the bottom line, but. Mm -hmm. Man, it makes it good. This pizza would be god tier for frozen pizza if they did the cornmeal corn meal. Corn meal on the bottom. Mm -hmm. I don't know many people that think that that's a bad move. I feel like the cornmeal thing on the bottom, a little bit of that grittiness, a little texture, upper echelon. Is pepperoni your favorite pizza ingredient like for frozen pizzas? Or do you like sausage more? I feel like it's like one or the other for us. Like, yeah, that's a good question. For frozen specifically, uh -huh. I think it's probably pepperoni. It's that's a little what mine tough, is. it's a little close. I think I like, in Chicago, I like sausage better at pizzerias. But for frozen, I think pepperonis like are never bad. That's yeah. I think there, I was gonna say that. I think there's a bigger opportunity for the sausage to be just gross and bland. Yeah, bland, watery, kind of like unseasoned. Where yeah. pepperoni seems to just because it's so cured. Yeah, they it's always yeah. Do a little sixer sauce on this. This is good pizza, and I'm sober. 
Or you take right. another drink and miss. Right now. Miss <laughs> yeah. Remember the days when a 5% beer would get me buzz in high school? <laughs> <laughs> What's kind of like, I think the thin crust pizza, like these crackery ones, but not too crackery, are what I like. Like there are thinner than this, and there's way thicker. Like I almost can't even eat DiGiorno anymore. It yeah. feels like I'm eating a, like a saucy pillow. This to me is like right where I want a frozen pizza. Way less room for like error. Exactly, dude. I was gonna say. It's just like what you said with the pepperonis. You're just gonna have less room for, to, to screw it up. Yeah. Having a thinner pizza, it's like having uh, the bumper rails and bowling. Yeah, you just, you can't, <laughs> you're gonna hit something. You're gonna hit something. <laughs> then there's those people that somehow find a way to get zero. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really like this now. This would be my, this would be one of my go-tos. Especially if they got that $3 off sale price. Yeah, that's insane. And I love these two of these sale prices. No coupons needed. Like sometimes people will be like, when we get Papa John's or Burger King, they're like, oh, you gotta use the app or you gotta do this extra. I don't want to do the extra. This is no extra work. I get three bucks off and it's a good deal. I'll pay more to not download an app. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sound like such a boomer. I'm not downloading anything. <laughs> Dude, this crust is what really, I know. It's like the the, the bone, the, the back end of the crust is really good. The pizza bone? Mm -hmm. All right, before we go ahead uh, and do a thumbs up or thumbs down properly on that price tag, one last little synopsis, what do you got? I thought all the ingredients in this were great, especially when you're considering this is a frozen pizza. I really like the thinness that helped keep this nice and crispy. The caramelized edges on the uh, outside crust was uh, unbelievable. This is, and the price, I mean, come on, get real. Seven bucks, it's a deal. One of the only frozen pizzas that's a Chicago-based one that I think rivals some fresh takeout pizzas we've gotten. Like straight up. I could say a few names of some pizzerias we've gotten in Chicago that I would prefer this over. Absolutely. I and I'm, I'm not gonna say them. Um, you need to subscribe to our yeah, OnlyFans for that. I would, I would <laughs> never say that Coyotes has way worse pizza. <laughs> That's what you want to do. I, I wouldn't do that. I'm not that guy. I wouldn't. You. I would never do that. You'll to never Coyotes catch me do that. Two. But yeah, just fantastic frozen pizza. Like damn good. Hit the spot. I love it. All right, Eric McCluskey, our resident drummer for oh so long. Hit the pans. Thank you, sir. All right, on the count of three, whether you like to enjoy it, but should they buy it? Seven bucks on sale. Mariano's. Are you ready? Ho! Oh! Excellent. Well done, guys. That was really, really good. That would have really blown your minds if I was like, no. Like, I yeah. literally was like on my knees this whole video for this pizza. Uh, fantastic. Great beer, great pizza, great co host. Fridays rock around here. Uh, so, thank you guys for being here. All right, guys, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, so we can get a little uh, fun going in the comments section. Let's give some local love. What is your favorite local pizzeria that you would love to see get an opportunity to start stocking the grocery stores with their frozen pizza delicious? Let's all just have a love fest for our locals down in the comments. I got a spot in my hometown that I wish did frozen. They do this pizza where it's that crumbled bacon all oh, over it. I'll drop their name in the comments. Sick. If you're from Metro Detroit, go look in the comments if this is a spot you've ever had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After the bumper, we're opening one package. We're really excited about this package. We don't know what this is. Sure, I'll stay after the bumper. This is the part of the show where you open up packages from fans and or brands. Sometimes people send us stuff. Sometimes companies send us stuff. Now, Corey Muscles Wagner is going to open up this oh, box. Okay. And we'll see what we got. Check it out, dude. Ooh. Couple of bacon, bacon hats. hats. Whoa. Retail for 24 bucks. Oh, sick, dude. This is going right on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it fits well. Check the bacon hat, dude. This would be like a minor league team, would you be like the bacon strips? The you know, bacon you strips. know how they have like weird names? Like Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. Yeah. The like Connecticut or the, like the Hartford, well they're the, the uh, yard goats, but I can see this bacon strips being a thing. That's uh, just the only thing I can think about that whole time is that's what Kylie called uh, or calls our dog's vagina is her bacon strip. Well, I'm never gonna wear this hat the same way again. <laughs> um, Nicholas Riley. Thank Riley. you for, yeah, thank you for ordering these for us, dude. That's sick. Yeah, Nick, you, he's a uh, dear friend and a fan of the show. He's mm -hmm. great, man. Great he, dude. Yeah, and I like how he wrote Corey and Sean with cheese yeah, like as that. the like the name on the order. That's fantastic. Nick, thank you guys so much. Uh, if you want to send us anything that's opened on camera, um, every video we have our UPS box below. If you want to send us anything, we love you guys. Box 847, you're going to need that. Yeah, you're going to need that. It's below. Don't trust my word. Trust the words below this video. Oh, oh we're still rolling. Okay, this is, oh wow, they have... It's the Lehigh Value Iron Pigs. Is that a Georgia team? Because he... Two-tone bacon hat. I see his address on here, which I obviously won't give that away. 
is a Georgia address. I wonder if, all right, let me go to Lehigh Valley. Allentown, Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. So, okay, no, but they are the AAA affiliate for the Phillies. So like, it, it's like a high up team. All right. I'm shocked that I didn't know that. I'm mad at myself. That's what's up. Yeah, okay, so we're not just gonna be walking around with bacon on our hats, it's for a team. Yeah, I bet you freaking mud has to stomp them off. Stomp them good, dude. Deal. All right, we'll see you Monday. Peace.